concerned. Well, before talking about that, I'd like to introduce our guest for tonight. Our guest uh, is Engineer Ihab al habek And uh, uh, Engineer Ihab al habek is uh, uh, an architectural and uh, urban planning expert. And he's one of uh, the, um, uh, well, why not, you know, like introducing you and, and, and talking about your prize concerning the Biblioteca Alexandrina, which yes. is very important. Yes. I'd like to, to say a pleasure having you, definitely. Thank you. And we're very proud of having, uh, of having you here. Thank you. Uh, for the first time and uh, not last time. So, uh, yes, sure. well, yeah, would you please expand on this prize? Yes, yes. Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me here as a guest. Um, the uh, project of the Library of Alexandria started actually 30 years ago. It was a competition, and uh, that competition had uh, like 1,400 entrants from uh, 77 countries uh, th all over the world. And um, I was, uh, at that time, I was doing my master's in Los Angeles, master's degree on it, and um, uh, a friend of mine called me up and said, would you like to join us uh, uh, for this competition? Uh, you're an architect from Alexandria, uh, Egyptian. Uh, you, 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 you did your uh, thesis, master thesis, uh, on this uh, old area of Alexandria, and you have so much documentations and maps, and we would like to have you with us. Uh, immediately, of course, I said, of course, it's, it's my pleasure. And, and we worked as a team. We were a group of architects and uh, we did the, the, the design and submitted to the UNESCO and, and uh, uh, we got the first prize. And that was a big surprise uh, and a nice, very nice uh, surprise, I would say. Um, uh, we were at that time, I was probably 29 years old. And, uh, you know, everybody was happy that uh, uh, there is an Egyptian uh, member in the team uh, that yeah. worked on this project. So uh, it, it's a nice project. I'm glad that everybody likes it. And until now, Alexandria, uh, you would uh, put the library of Alexandria as, a, as, a, as, a, as the building a of Alexandria. Like you see, when you, when you talk about Paris, you would put the Tour Eiffel, Arc yes. de Triomphe. When you talk about uh, Sydney, you would put op Opera Sydney. So every, any, anyone will... will uh, uh, when you talk about Alexandria, you would put the Library of Alexandria. I'm, I'm really proud of this. Well, it's become a bigger uh, a beacon of uh, knowledge and uh, development, yes. and it has lots of activities that we are very proud of. Whatever is happening, and we know especially in the city of Alexandria. Well, the mermaid of the Mediterranean, with everything in the very ancient city that is, uh, well, um, having, you know, the, 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 the population of Alexandria is a combination of different, uh, of course, Egyptians and, you know, Greeks, Italians, yes, yes. It's, uh, it's an amalgam of it's, it's cultures. A, it's a actually. big salad bowl. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Now uh, to my name is business and uh, our guest, uh, engineer Ihab al Habek. Uh, our guest is an architectural and uh, urban planning expert. Uh, and uh, starting our talk, there is a lot to be done. There is a lot that took place. And of course, you know, when people started, well, you, you, you hear on and off voices that are against anything new, that are against any development. Um, well, whether they really uh, do have an agenda, or maybe they don't have an agenda, but uh, they are against anything new because anything new always finds opposition from certain people, and it's new, so um, it, it has to be, well, with some, of course, they just kind of um, don't want it. The, the uh, new capital in this new republic, it's, this is something grand, and people just, you know, some people who are just more pessimistic than optimistic were always objecting and, and saying lots of things about it. But then, how do you see it as an architect and, 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 and working in um, uh, urban planning and development, and you're not government, even you're just uh, independent, and how you see things from here? Okay. Um, first of all, I would like to mention something very clear everybody would need to know. We, Egyptian, need new cities, a lot of new cities, not just two and three. We need 20s, 100, maybe not hundreds, but I mean a lot of new cities um, that is completely independent. We cannot count anymore on expanding in Cairo or Alexandria or Aswan or whatever. This is not right. I mean, the Aswan, I mean uh, Cairo was designed as far as buildings, streets, utilities, I think, uh, I think I remember uh, the number was, um, what, one million? Yes. Cairo, Cairo was designed 
to absorb one million person. Mm -hmm. And now it is more than 20 million. Yes. So definitely we'll have a problem. Of course. Alexandria is designed to accommodate half a million. Mm -hmm. Now it's getting close to 10 million. Especially also with the, with the immigration, you know, lots of Syrians, Libyans, Sudanese, and, and, you know, and, and everybody even comes local, here. And even local immigrants yes, yes. From, from the other smaller country, uh, yeah. cities. Rural, maybe areas yes, to the urban yes. areas. This is completely wrong. Mm. The government uh, finally is aware of, of this issue and started to seriously take action. Yes. Actually, this action should, should, be take, should have been taken... Long years ago. 40 years ago yeah. or whatever, we really haven't uh, 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 done new cities except October City and then uh, the fifth settlement, uh, Sadat City. Those are, uh, uh, you see how uh, uh, October City is now? Mm -hmm. It's growing, 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 growing. And, and it's full, and it's different and right it's now. Full. One and year, not even a few months, you go there, you don't know the streets because it developed more and more and it's expanding more and more. Each city is designed to absorb a certain number of people. Yeah. This means utilities, drainage, uh, sewage, uh, uh, electricity, all of this stuff. Yeah. And when you overstrain such uh, a city, you know, it's, it's not right. Nobody would live uh, in a decent way. Yeah. And so therefore, a, a new cities, it's a must. Yeah. It's about time to have new cities. And so this is a very, uh, a, a very important and a good decision to go for that. Mm -hmm. It is late, but you, as you say, uh, uh, never too late. Mm -hmm. It's never too late. I mean, this should be done. And of course, new cities um, will require a complete infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the new uh, capital uh, city mm -hmm. is about 200,000 acres. It's mm -hmm. huge. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a huge city. By the way, I, I would like to mention about uh, having this name of uh, new capital, uh, uh, administrative capital, new... Uh, uh, yeah. for, f as far as I'm concerned, as an architect, um, I... How do you feel? How do you see it? That's I'd, the thing, you I'd know, rather the have feeling. It, I'd rather have it just one name yeah. and one cultural, historical mm -hmm. name. And I, I ask a lot of uh, friends around me in this uh, architecture business. And uh, actually... The majority uh, came up with the name of an old Egyptian city, which is Tiba. Mm -hmm. So I really uh, suggest and recommend for the officials to consider having the name Tiba yeah. for that city. It's a, it's a one word. And Tiba, the, the, the Egyptian name that we know, not Thebes, because Cairo, there are 18 Cairos around the world, but Cairo is a Qahira, and there's, there's only one Qahira. Yes. And Tiba is only one Tiba, you know, the Tiba is the oldest, the Egyptian name. Yes, exactly, to be the only city. Tiba yeah. is, it's a very, very culturally unique, uh, historical name. Mm -hmm. um, um, Alamein City is a very good name. Alamein. Exactly. It's, it's very good. Other cities, anyway, but this, so it is really a very good move and it should, be, should have been done long time ago. Mm -hmm. Long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, the, um, uh, you see, as an, as an architect, as an yeah. architect, if I if I put myself in the shoes of um, an official, mm -hmm. okay, minister of housing or, or pr prime minister or even president, I would what I would should do is fix the new cities, Cairo, Alexandria, and so on, and try fix all the utilities. You see what happened in Alexandria? Just let few rain fell off, and the city completely drowned. And it's really funny. We go to a school, no schools today, no universities. Come on, this is something uh, it shouldn't have happened. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, but anyway, fixing, fixing old cities is very expensive. Of course. I would rather go for new cities, yeah. attract people to move to the new cities, and then have their spaces open up in the old cities yeah. to the people who can afford it. If I can afford going to a new city, I will go, I will leave my place. My place will be taken by someone else, mm -hmm. and so on. And this is how, how it goes. Um, this is very, very important. And uh, what else I wanted to say is that uh, uh, it's very, very, very expensive, very hard, very harsh to fix old cities. Mm -hmm. If I want to fix, for example, Cairo or Alexandria in some, some, some points, I will have to be very, very cruel. I would have to put yeah. buildings down yeah. 
I would have to create streets, like, uh, you know, I would have to put roads and I have to make all this to facilitate the movement. So definitely I would have to tear buildings down. And this so is why doing this, like, you know, keeping it as is it's and expanding somewhere else of is course, the, the what, best. What's, what's going on now, it's, it's a solution that, that is fair. Yeah. I'm going to tear your building. I'm going to put you somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So first I'm going to build somewhere else, mm -hmm. like what happened, what happened now. Uh, constructions has been done for uh, uh, buildings that will accommodate for all the um, people are moving from the uh, Shwayat, the, um, the, the slum areas, the slums area yeah, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Well, this is the best thing, you know, it's like because there are unsafe areas, there are slum yeah. areas. Unhuman. That, exactly, and unhuman. unhuman. You have to develop because there they are people living here and they, they are, uh, well, they should have a decent life, you know, with these initiatives, decent life. They should be developed even if they don't think they need, they got used to certain way of living. They are entitled to a better living. They and deserve. doing that, sometimes you have to be a yes. bit harsh, you know, taking them from unsafe areas. And, uh, well, you know, they, don't think, they don't see a future. And put them somewhere else where they see they have a future. Yes, they deserve to live in a decent way. Mm -hmm. And this is what's the plan that is going on now. Yeah. Uh, which is very good and having other buildings ready to accommodate them mm -hmm. take their places fix it and, uh, and and develop it better yeah this is very good yeah. uh, and, and it you know it's much much less expensive to build a new city than fix an old city mm -hmm. of course there is problems in old cities that needs to be fixed Definitely. of course but again you, ha you, you cannot really fix it 100%. You cannot fix everything. You have to fix the problems that are there. You will fix it maybe 60%. Yeah, yeah. Just, just enough. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you, when you, ha when you uh, feel a little bit feverish, you will take uh, uh, Panadol. Okay? Mm -hmm. But that's not right. Mm -hmm. You're just taking some things to, you know, keep you going. But it should be fixed correctly. Yeah. And this is what's going on now. Right. New cities have been well designed, well planned, construction. Uh, 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 looks nice. Um, and Infrastructure, this is, this utilities, is what everything. It should be. What yes. This is what it should be. Of course. And this is what we all deserve. Mm -hmm. what, what is really important is, is to attract people to go to these new mm -hmm. cities. And one of the ways that attracts people is to have the government provide uh, uh, special deals like tax exemptions, mm -hmm. reduced uh, b utility bills. I mean, if somebody wants to go and live there, why would he go there? He would have better schools, less expensive schools. Universities. Uh, he will pay less everywhere. for the electricity. Yeah. He will pay less for the water and gas and whatever. He will have a lot of schools for his kids. More job opportunities. More job opportunities. Mm -hmm. And health-wise, yeah. he will have very well-designed hospitals. Mm -hmm. Not like in, in, in Cairo and Alexandria, you, you find residential buildings that are turned out to be hospitals. Mm -hmm. This is ridiculous. Because you said it was planned to, to accommodate a certain 1 million and it became 20 millions or more than 20 million. Yes. This is unfair. Everybody, you know, in rural areas, you know, like um, migration, yeah. they leave, you know, and they just go there. So it's like they come to Cairo, Alexandria, the big urban cities. Now there, there is a lot of other cities yes. that can be really uh, accommodating those people yes. and giving them better life and leave Cairo, leave Alex with a uh, origin population, they should, the government should encourage them to leave Cairo mm -hmm. and other cities and go there. Yeah. And the only way to encourage them is to provide the, b the basic uh, uh, points for, for a decent life. Yeah. Education, health, jobs, uh, 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 affordable. I mean, if they arrange with the banks to have a 30 years mortgage, then the payment, you buy a house, you buy an you buy apartment, mm -hmm. and then you pay rent. Uh, you mean not rent? I mean you pay your your um, uh, your payments yeah. the, as a mortgage. Yeah. It will be when you divide it in thirty years, mm -hmm. it will be less. So people can afford it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what the government uh, uh, is trying to do, and is succeeding to do other things uh, uh, to help moving into new cities.
Well, what is also good, they're very, they're very serious about that, like in Laghet al and, uh, and, other, and other places for, uh, that were slum areas, and they were rebelled in order to have a decent life, and they're providing everything uh, to the people, you know, from the, the apartments with, uh, um, well, you know, everything is there in their apartments, yes, uh, yes. The, all the accommodations, Attractive. all the furniture, um, the electric appliances, so it, it was really, it's really wonderful. Uh, plus, of course, they're, uh, they're checking before. Some were given apartments like that, and then they were selling it to others, taking the money, and then again going to slum uh, areas or making their own slums. And that is now as a no-no, and this is really good. It's like you're going to live a decent life. You're going to be developing yourself. We're going to let you develop yourself and have opportunities, which is really good. That was not really... Um, uh, supervised before there were problems in that area right now you know even um, in the way well the ethics and all that they are guarded it's like you cannot do the things you were doing in slums yes. now you know you have to live in your life with you know better unfortunately uh, you know I mean? people are used to a certain style of living mm -hmm. you know for for what 60 years yeah. since 1952 the revolution yeah when uh, uh, the, the, the 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 government I mean the uh, Nasser took over since then until now the government role was not uh, as effective yeah. as as now and a lot of ill uh, or wrong doings and and a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of things that really um that gave caused, way to others, caused exactly. this uh, uh chaos that, yeah. that's happening mm. and this is and this is not right but but anyway this um uh, the, 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 the government, the current government, realized that. They accepted that fact mm. that before there was problems. Yeah. So, okay, fine, we're going to have to work out and fix it. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to keep going with problems. Definitely. And that's why you see now there is strong decisions, mm. very strong decisions. Mm. People are hardly taking this. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the gas prices are getting higher, the... the, the uh, the relation between the, the, the Egyptian pound and the dollar uh, and, and so many things are very strong. Mm -hmm. it's, it's important, it's useful, it should have been done this long time ago. But anyway, it's never too late, it has to be done, so it's done. It needs a very courageous decision making. It's like an operation, it's very important. It's very important. We, it's, it is a fact that we will suffer during those years. But few years suffering, but then after that. Things are better, definitely, for our children, exactly. things will be better. Exactly. But the exactly. thing is, you know, like, it has to be explained on, on because sometimes, you know, see, with people, they don't really, uh, now, you know, they're, uh, they're having services and they're having better things, so they forget about the, the problems. They say, well, uh, before it was like electricity was cut, you know, the uh, outages, lots of outages, they were busy with that. Now, you know, like, we don't have that anymore. The things are being fixed and we even, um, well, we, we export <laughs> electricity, so uh, they think, well, but things are expensive, and they're getting more expensive. But you say, well, this is an international well, thing. Well, thanks to you yeah. and programs like your program and, and, the other, and all uh, other programs that really explain to the Egyptians that this is happening because of one, two, three, and exactly. we, you, you guys have to be patient. Things yeah. will be all right. Things, it, it will be better, but we have to be, we have to suffer a little bit, but afterwards it's fine. Uh, uh, your program is explaining other programs uh, and so on. It's very, very important. Well, we resume our conversation actually, huh? but after the break, we go for a short break. After we'll be coming back, stay tuned to us, don't go away. And uh, we're back again to My Name is Business uh, with our guest, uh, Engineer Herbert Habeck, and uh, we have a lot to talk about, actually. Well, next step, you know, with that, you know, we're trying to make people understand, uh, you know, why, uh, you know, well, it's, it's a worldwide, actually, phenomenon. Things are getting more expensive, and more also uh, with, with all what's happening, we have something that we never thought of, actually, the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic. And this affected every economy. Nevertheless, uh, Egypt has been working so hard and taking every opportunity that is present there. Some countries, for example, they, just, uh, uh, they, they were affected very badly, even in the vegetable uh, crops and all that. And mm. Egypt is exporting vegetable crops, mm. crops and even r rose to number one in lots of things. We do have other things, you know. We're just taking care of all the work that 
kind of declined during the past eras, uh, the, the cotton work, the made in Egypt work, yeah. and, and also one very important thing, uh, the, as the care for the human being, for the person, the Egyptian person, the, um, the way uh, the, 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 the people, the Egyptians are looking at things right now, even the young generations is different. There is pride in even wearing Egyptian uh, made clothes and many brands, Egyptian brands, hit the red carpet, hit international arenas and they, they've got, the, this is a brand name, lots of brand names in jewelry, in bags and, and of course cotton, Egyptian cotton and so on and so forth. Mm. And we're looking for a lot more than that happening and, and a lot of things are happening, even in sports. There is a boost in sports and we're just getting very high ranks right now. Um, the, as we were talking about, the great, um, well, the shows that we have, you know, the, the Golden Mummies going there, the parade that was there and all the world saw it. The same thing of the Karnak Luxor, that now is a brand name actually. Um, it's, it's really wonderful. Um, now, you know, like doing, well, going through all that, uh, how do you see, you know, of course, you know, under the COVID-19, Egypt's efforts still that did not stop, but is moving forward despite all the difficulties and challenges that, are we, that we are facing. Mm. Yes, of course, e Egypt is very uh, rich in many, many uh, resources. And, and, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, the whole world and, of course, Egypt as well was affected by the COVID. And this... Uh, this is something that we cannot really control. Yeah. Um, maybe the media should uh, stress more to educate people to be careful about this, uh, wearing the masks and all these health issues. Um, but again, ev everywhere in the world, you see in China and India and, and everywhere, I mean, yeah. th as if there is nothing there. Thousands yeah. of people. <laughs> people are tired of it. You know? It's like, you know, <coughs> going through the like, second year now. Yes, yes, yes. We have to deal with it. Yeah. We have to live with it, and we have to accept this fact and live uh, uh, around it. It's very important in in all aspects of life: agriculture, uh, industrial, construction, uh, everywhere, everywhere. And uh, thank God that the, the technology is improving so much okay. that you. <laughs> You know, can meet a lot of people everywhere in the world and uh, without leaving your house. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think this is uh, this is everywhere, and uh, uh, we're dealing with it. Uh, fine, the health uh, uh, ministry is, is is doing a good job, giving vaccinating everybody with the with the, all the vaccines in the world. I mean, yeah. we have them all. Uh, it's it's free. Um, and, and, and this is very good. This is very good. Definitely. Yeah. And going through all this, actually, you know, um, all the efforts are still being exerted. Work is going ahead. Nothing stopped, actually. But um, talking about uh, building the country and it's still going on, um, well, there are challenges, well, in, uh, let's say, you know, in building roads, in uh, uh, building new well, or, uh, you know, like getting rid, or eliminating unsafe areas and slums. Mm. What, you know, these are the challenges, big challenges. What are the challenges more in that area in order to reach uh, a safer, safer areas for people uh, who are just in, in, in very um, uh, insecure areas, uh, well, slums and all that? Yes, I mean, you raised a good, very good subject. It's, again, I think to fix... Uh, this issue correctly, you would need Hitler. <laughs> you would need somebody very strong. Mm -hmm. Nobody can tell him anything. I'm going to do this once the decision is right. Yeah. This has to be done. Again, as I mentioned, this is it's going to be tough and very, very tough on people. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of houses will have to be demolished mm -hmm. because of this. Uh, um, Everything was loose and free and no governmental control and mm. people were building everywhere as, as they wish. This is wrong. And everybody knows it's wrong. Mm -hmm. But now we uh, uh, realized and woke up to the fact that we have to do something about it. Mm -hmm. um, you reminded me of I was assigned by 
uh, the governor of Alexandria uh, to study the area of Agami mm -hmm. uh, to see what could be done to fix this area of Agami. I made a study, a very good study, and I presented it to him. Basically, uh, to summarize it, some, you need to have several roads built yeah. in certain areas, which means a lot of buildings will have to go down. Mm -hmm. So there has to be a compromise. Of uh, unsafe areas uh, or the normal buildings? No, there is a rural areas okay. uh, uh, between slums and rural areas. I mean, okay. the, the, they are not up to the code. Mm -hmm. uh, forget if it's illegal or not illegal. It, if they are all illegal, of course. Okay. But they are not safe. And you cannot have a 10, 14 story building on a four meter street. Of course. You cannot have that. Mm -hmm. It's unacceptable by all means. Yeah. You have to take down all this uh, buildings, 20, 40 buildings, and make a good street. I mean, yeah. if something happens, no ambulance can go in. Oh. No uh, uh, fire uh, truck. Mm -hmm. No decent good trucks can go in. Yeah. And this is why we are uh, um, uh, facing this dilemma of the tuk tuk. Mm -hmm. because exactly, it just you know, came and it Because just people need it. What mm -hmm. can you do? You, either you go with a, with a donkey, get a horse or a donkey or get a tuk-tuk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tuk people, of course now. People need to move mm -hmm. from this place to that place. Mm -hmm. And any other transportation is not available. I mean, it's, it, it's impossible to go in. Mm -hmm. The only is a bicycle, a tricycle, like, like the tuk-tuk, a tricycle. This, these are the only size that can go through this area. And that's why we are facing with this problem. Exactly. It, it is a big problem, but anyway, it, it's there. So no police could go in there, no ambulance can go in there, so, so uh, no uh, you uh, have fire... To fix it. You know, so yeah. I, re I recommended to the governor, I told him, well, we have to have a street here and a street here mm -hmm. connected to the main roads there. I don't want to be very technical in, uh, today, but yeah. I mean, but I recommended some streets that will need to be uh, 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 built, mm -hmm. which means 50 or more of uh, the built uh, towers yeah. will have to go down. Mm. But of course, the government can have a solution for this. I mean, they can really put the people in uh, the, the places like Bashair and all the stuff that yeah. uh, can house mm -hmm. those people. Yeah. So there is a place. Mm -hmm. But it's a tough decision. Yeah. It's not a nice decision. People will be very upset to leave their houses. Yeah. But they again, got used to them, whether illegal or not. Well, they just got because, used to that. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I remember there was a, there was, I, I did talk about this on, on a program uh, a few years back. When a building fell off, fell down completely yeah. in yeah. Alexandria, yeah. and um, the people who survived were uh, asking the government, they should provide us with another apartment or yeah. another house, another housing. Mm -hmm. So the fact is, the people don't know or need to know. People need to know that you should be educated enough to, when you buy a flat, mm -hmm. it should be with a permit. Mm -hmm. You should not buy anything. Anything, you know, like, well, like a, a flat, and I say I want to buy it without knowing this is legal or illegal. Definitely. You need a per you, the, the, you have to buy something with a permit. You have to mm -hmm. see the license, the permit of this building. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? This means that if this building fell off, yeah. the government can build another one. And the place or provide? Having a permit okay. means, means there is an insurance. Okay. You see, mm. if there is an insurance, the permit will not be issued unless an insurance will be paid. Yeah. So the owner will have to pay an insurance mm -hmm. amount for the building and safety department to give you, issue a permit. Yeah. So when you have a permit, automatically means you have an insurance. Mm -hmm. Anything happens, anything falls off, you are covered. Yeah. But if you don't have a permit, what they can tell you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go to hell. There is nothing we can do. Of course. You were not educated enough to buy. You're not insured. You're not insured. Yeah. Sorry. Hard luck. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a matter of education to the public. The public should know their rights. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Actually, there is a, a building, an old building that um, uh, collapsed uh, last year uh, in downtown. And um, they actually, uh, they just uh, uh, warned them several times to fix some things in the building and uh, they did not do that. So it, it fell. 
When we asked about the people, um, nobody died except one old person, uh, thank God. They just took them to the, the, the alternative buildings that, mm. you know, they were built and, you know, everybody just went and uh, lived there. Of course, you know, it's not uh, very e easy to just change that, but then they had to do this and at least there is a place for them to live in to stay, because yeah. that building was, of course, no, no, they did not fix what they had and we always say, like, fix, you know, like uh, uh, the problems that you, know, you have in your building so that the building uh, keeps being there because uh, this is, you know, um, an old building, yet maintenance is very important. I mean, yes, this is very that's important. why that's why having built something it's very important to have a permit a license for this mm. uh, uh, the building permit is very important I cannot stress more on that mm -hmm. now now the government already realized that fact that the the, the issue permits um, before the tools were not very strong I mean mm. you can build something put it how now the the, the ci city would come and, and, and stop you and next day you're working and, and so forth. I mean, there is always a way around it. Mm. The law wasn't tight enough. Mm -hmm. So people, it's normal. Everybody wants to have a, a profit. Yeah. Uh, so uh, they just go, as go much ahead money as they can from his uh, property. Uh, this is normal behavior. But uh, what really controls is the city. Mm. The city puts the rules. Mm. I mean, at the time of before 1952, there was areas in Cairo and, and, and all over Egypt with zones, with zones, you know, you, know, you know what I mean? Zones means this area is houses with a two-story, yeah. this area with a four-story, this is a six-story, this is a ten-story, mm -hmm. this is one-story building. I mean, these communities are, are de designed and, de and defined that way. Mm -hmm. You cannot have a, a four-story building in a, in a two-story zone. It becomes zone. ten suddenly. You no. cannot. Yeah. You simply cannot. So at that time there was control. Yeah. N when the time, the, the 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 fifty years back, there was no control. Mm -hmm. Because the law wasn't giving enough uh, tools, you uh, know, in order to uh, to uh, hand yeah, to yeah, to, yeah. The, the, to the governor. Mm -hmm. I mean, the governor should have enough power to stop the work mm -hmm. and to put it down or whatever, but yeah. stop it. And because of this, a lot of un. Uh, uh, legal illegal buildings have been uh, made with completely very wrong in, in the, the disaster in Alexandria when uh, when uh, somebody without any uh, 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 asking any engineer mm. that dissolved the sewage system of the rain with the sewage system of the how buildings he spoils everything they put them together and this is wrong yeah, yeah. Alexandria especially Alexandria yeah. they were having a complete drainage system for the rain yeah. that goes directly to the sea yeah. completely different pipes tubes mm -hmm. than the sewage system mm -hmm. but someone did it without studying that put them together and that's why alexandria is in a big mess yeah. and a big trouble how can you separate them again? That was in the very, uh, you know, times that were that were not having control over that. So. Having no having control, nor even asking professionals. Yeah. I mean, there is professionals who can help you in this. Mm. I mean, if you are a governor or if you are a, 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 an official person who has this uh, uh, um, power of decision, mm -hmm. and you want to do something, ask somebody who's professional. Definitely, definitely. And this is what's going on now. There, there is a lot of professionals giving advices, uh, 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 and, and you know, one of the things I should mention, why we realize these facts and everything woke up and it's going into the right direction, because the Prime Minister is an architect. Okay, yeah, definitely. <laughs> that he would understand when he passes what's going on here, definitely. He's a good architect, yeah. and he's a Prime Minister. So with the knowledge and power mm. together, he can have right decisions. But of course, they would also go and ask for professionals mm -hmm. in, in architecture and structural and electromechanical and sewage and in all, all fields. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very important. And also, you, you had Alex, and of course, as well as Cairo and all that. During the time of uh, 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 the 10 years ago, you know, or let's say you know, it was in uh, uh, 2012, 2011, 20, uh, uh, those years, you know, there were uh, people who just, of course, need money or just are. Uh, uh, want money, they were just, you know, 
well, breaking everything, all the good, Abdo, all the beautiful villas and all the historical and no. making the high-rise buildings that are looking like paper really bad and very quickly so that nobody can stop them from doing that. And gladly, uh, recently, all this, you know, like stopped, you know, like all uh, touching historical buildings or all beings, the beauty of Alex, you know, all that, or Cairo, and then, you know, making ugly, the culture of ugliness, well, that is stopping now you know it's like we we, we you know those people in um, slums don't see anything beautiful in slums and when they come in you know and try to meddle in something like that they spoil they bring their own culture of ugliness now mm. now developing you know on the taste and 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 ethics and everything and getting them to new areas the same thing with these areas you know like we like to safeguard beauties yes unfortunately the uh, the ethics and the taste of beauty um, wasn't really uh, taken care of. That was years ago. Yeah. Now, yes. Now I see, I see uh, people building houses mm -hmm. and apartments. Um, they would come to me, and they are very careful. Yeah. Uh, uh, Heb, please, I want you to f to make a, f a face lift, mm -hmm. maquillage, mm -hmm. to uh, beautify my buildings. Yeah. To make it look better, yeah. they care. Now they care about having something looks better. Beautiful, exactly. This is Alex, and this is Cairo. When you pass by, and you look, wow. Definitely. Now, but before it wasn't like that. Well, but now it yeah, is. Yeah. Now, now it's. Tastes it's are changing again. We're regaining uh, the beauty that we had before, trying hard, and these, you know, this is miraculous, really. Well, unfortunately. Good times pass very fast, so we're at the end of this uh, uh, our time, our hours. So thank you very much for being with us. Yeah. And we're looking for more um, interviews and, and, and um, our meetings and our uh, programs. So we'll see you again, definitely, with you know development that is taking place. And you know, every day there is something new. Thank you for being there. You're welcome. Always a pleasure having you. My and uh, I'd like to thank our viewers also for being there. Thank you for being there. God bless Egypt, God bless Egyptians, God bless our army, our white army, our police, and our president. And as we quote from the Holy Quran, Tkhulu Misr, inshallah, Aminin, enter Egypt, God willing, safe. And from the Holy Bible, Mubarak, Shabi Misr, bless be Egypt, my people. I'm Nabi Nazim signing off with you again next week. Goodbye for now.